Well, it's one of the things um, about learning and learning something new, particularly um, in the adult world, um, when we're talking about you know learning new commercial skills, is that people often you know come to a point when they're learning something new, and that those thought, those feelings of frustration or maybe confusion, you know, things aren't quite flowing when you're doing something new. You know, they're pushed out of their comfort zone, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because I think we we're conditioned to think of words like frustration and confusion as as negative, and I've often wondered. You know, if we can reframe that to make it a much more of a, a positive um, frame of mind when we're feeling those things. So I'm just wondering, you know, what's your angle on that with your experience of, of learning in the adult world? Oh, it's interesting. This opens up a, a whole box of really, really interesting challenges for people. You know, if you think about adults learning in, the, in their world of work, very often their mindset around learning will be anchored in some of the challenges they might have had learning at school or at college or university or whatever. So what we're doing is we're kind of retouching some of those maybe negative emotions of frustration and confusion for people. So they remember very clearly about what it was like when they felt very, you know, very challenged. And now they're in the working environment, they often don't welcome that. But if you think about learning, learning is about changing behavior, change is about pushing um, boundaries, pushing boundaries is about taking yourself out of your comfort zone is gonna feel uncomfortable and frustration and confusion go hand in hand with learning. And very, very classically, the learning staircase so, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a progression. You start off not knowing what you don't know, so it feels fine. But then the moment you're exposed to new stuff, you'll realize what you don't know, the second step, and it feels really uncomfortable. And then as you start to get to that third step, which is you, you just know, you, you, sorry, you, you know that you know, so you have to think about it, but you can do it. That progression between step two and step three of that learning staircase is very frustrating for people and very confusing. And then eventually you'll get to the top, which is that you just know and it becomes something that's really comfortable. But that transition between step two and step three is a very vulnerable time for people and one where they will use uh, words like frustration and confusion to describe it. So in order to help with that, maybe it's useful to realize that if you do not feel frustration or confusion, you're not growing, you're not learning. So actually take frustration and confusion and just take a pause when you feel like that, or you use those words to describe how you feel, and know that actually that's right. Mm. So it becomes a positive, if you will. So recognize it, acknowledge it, take a pause, and just relabel it, knowing that in fact what this is doing is doing you good. It sounds easy to say, but goodness me, it makes a difference to how you will feel about that journey you're on. So, so there's something there about just reframing our, our beliefs around that feeling of frustration or confusion, um, almost to the point where if I'm feeling that, isn't that good? Because I'm about to learn something. It's almost like a prerequisite to, to a breakthrough, which is, I guess, what we're not taught, perhaps when we're in school. Correct. Yeah. And, uh, you know, take it as a positive sign. It'll certainly help us understand that it's a necessary part of growth. Mm.